what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today, I want to say thank you to Dan from Battle Hag first for sending me this kick-ass fucking t-shirt from one of the best doom bands right now in America. Check them out on Transylvania Tapes. Check out my review or check out their fucking album. It is so goddamn good. I really hope they do a vinyl pressing because I love it and I need a new tape deck so I can't really listen to it at the moment but it's killer fucking stuff because otherwise I would put it on right now and fanboy out but we're going to be blasting Harvest School Gotha's Altars of Devotion on Nuclear War Now Records some fucking evil tunes here like I love this album thank you Grim Trash Can for hooking it up just awesome awesome fucking black death insane production this is just everything like you could ask for in an extreme metal release look at that guy he's just all fucking slimy and evil even as like some ritualistic markings I, I just the whole entire ritualistic side of extreme metal is awesome and I'd like to explore it further one day and today I'm gonna go over some UK ritualistic death metal on profound lore records and that is grave miasmas odorai sepulchrum hopefully I said that correctly on Profound Lore Records. Very weird because in the UK, everything opens to the left. So there's the cover artwork, but you have to turn it this way to open it regular. It's kind of weird, but it doesn't matter at all. Grave Miasma fucking rule. Like, if you're a fan of death metal, like, in vain of, like, incantation. But then, if you like the ritualistic side of things, like with Lucifer, uh, Mephitic, Dead Congregation, the Ominous Circle, stuff like that, then you are going to eat this right up. This is some killer fucking shit right here. Awesome UK based death metal. It's seriously awesome. Killer artwork as well love the fucking art on the CD. This is one of those albums that would probably look sick on a picture disc. Just based on that fucking slab of tomb mold. But yeah, Grave My Asthma fucking rule. And this, this release is just, it's absolute fire. Like, it reminds me more of Dead Congregation than anything else, really, but, like, still, it, it's its own entity in the genre, and it's awesome. Like, I like how everything kind of, like, goes back to that just crushing evil that was in Incantation's debut, Onward to Golgotha. Like, to me, that really, really, you know, set this, like, you know, palette up of like these evil like riffs. Like, yeah, Morbid Angel was doing it. Plenty of bands were like making this, you know, overall evil as fuck atmosphere. But like, Incantation made it just like the production, like a wet blanket. It just sounded suffocating. And at the same time, those riffs were so evil for the time period and still fucking are. And the vocal delivery was just straight cavernous and awesome. And that's something that gets carried over a lot when it comes to, like, ritualistic death metal. Like, it's still death metal, but at the same time, they're trying to get a point across here and make a ritual out of their music. And I understand that completely, and it's awesome. To see bands, you know. At this point, it's not thinking outside of the box because so many bands do this. But Grave Miasma do it fucking great. And here's some more artwork. 
I have no idea what this stuff says. I've tried to read it, but I'm pretty sure it's in Greek. I'm not sure. I honestly have no idea. Here's a band photo. All these bands seem to have something else in common, and that's, uh, they really don't like showing their faces. I mean, I don't blame them, but, like, so many bands do the whole hooded thing now. It's like, okay, like, Midnight and Portal were the first two bands I saw doing it. Then I saw footage of MGLA Live, and then I saw, like, a couple other bands doing it, and I just was like, huh, like, come on. But, like, some bands do it, and it's like, fuck, yeah, this is sick, like, you know. But other bands do it, and it's just like, huh. I wonder who that actually is. And then when you find out, like, when I found out, like, everybody in the Ominous Circle, some of those guys are in, like, gore grind bands, and, like, all this sick shit, it's awesome. Like, I love when people are talented at other stuff and can get their bands, like, on different labels and, you know, can kind of pick and choose what tour they want to go on. Like, oh, like, should we go tour with, you know, band A or band B? Or if you have members like Blood Incantation and Spectral Voice, they're doing that uh, European tour. The only difference is you have Eli and Spectral Voice and you have Isaac on drums in Blood Incantation. And Eli covers vocal duties for Spectral Voice as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a fucking, it's a great, I don't know why you wouldn't do that. But you have some serious, like, intellectual, evil, ritualistic lyrics as well, like Death's Meditative Trance. I can't even pronounce some of these words, like, because I don't even know what kind of deities they're talking about here. But let's just know that it's evil. Rest the gods with no center. Beckon me to join the ranks of the dead. Face of the faceless ones, form the formless one. The light of Makalaka call of the faceless one the force of impotence the light of makala the light of death then there's a scission eye evotion to a thousand lost reveries um i don't speak greek so i don't even know what that says sorry <laughs> but suspended in the hanging dimension vitality beyond comprehension projections further further beyond the void penetrated nature beyond visions hell yeah odorous sepulchrum seven coils and osserary defy laws of decay reversed passage remain terrorion Holy rites of perversion. The flesh has left the body. For a soul is to redeem. Fucking close the gates of time. Open those of eternity. That's an awesome lyric right there. And like I was saying, there's just some cool artwork thrown throughout here. This is an album I would really like to pick up on wax. Really dark, fucking evil pictures. And I need to do some research on the subject matter behind all this fucking ritualistic stuff. Like, it's super cool and like the band is only, at, as a lot of these bands do, only using their initials. So you have Y on guitar, vocals, and a bunch of other stuff, D on drums, R on guitar and flute, and A on bass guitar, and uh, this was this cover painting right here, this fucking gorgeous piece of art was, and the insert drawing was drawn by Dennis Forkaz Kostroman. 
at DennisForkus.com. This dude did a fucking kick-ass job with this stuff. It looks fucking dope. Especially the cover painting. Like, that probably looks so sick on 12-inch. But the music here really speaks for itself. Like, like I was saying, if you're a fan of, like, Dead Congregation, you are going to love Grave Miasma. Like, it's pretty much like their UK brethren. Like, it's great. Same thing with Mephitic. If you like those bands, you are going to love, love the UK's Grave Ritual. Awesome, awesome death metal with a ritualistic edge. So you can be squeezing invisible oranges while blasting some killer incantation style death metal. But add in those ritualistic elements and also add in a killer vocal delivery very cavernous and awesome and just an overall menacing vibe and you have the stamp of approval from profound lore records who really don't fuck around when it comes to what they release like sometimes they'll only put out one album a year and it's just like holy shit that's amazing like i forget what uh it might have been profound lore or it might have been 20 bucks spin i forget who it was but some record label only put out like one album last year and it was just like absolutely fucking phenomenal i can't remember off the top of my head who it was but i remember decibel making like a big deal out of it saying like it was only it, it might have been like only one out of like four releases or something i honestly forget but i do know that profound lore does not fuck around when it comes to signing good fucking bands. Like, if you look through their roster, you are not going to really find too much bullshit. It's mostly all fucking killer, outside-of-the-box, death metal, black metal, and especially fucking Doom. They, oh my god, I can't wait for the fucking new Bell Witch. I need to pre-order that, but... I have to save up for this Colorado trip, so uh, maybe when I get back, if it's not sold out, it doesn't matter. I'm seeing them live, so I'll buy it off them live if I have to. But Grave Miasma, Orderai Seprochrom. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but this is awesome stuff. And UK death metal fucking rules like i said if you like lucifer you're gonna love this same with like dead congregation and fucking mephitic and especially incantation like grave ritual if you like that stuff fuck yeah get into some grave miasma on profound lore records awesome awesome shit and you know you can get your death ritual on and enjoy it but uh, I'm going to have to give that a 9 out of 10. It's just an awesome, awesome death metal release. And we've been blasting Harvest Golgotha, Altars of Devotion on Nuclear War Now. So fucking good. So evil. Just killer, killer stuff here. Get into it. I will put the link below. But, as always, thanks for watching. Fucking keep it brutal. Stay death. Hails.